In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the visual settings in a Libby ebook and also how to change the playback speed of a Libby audiobook. So I'm logged into Libby and I have both an ebook and an audiobook checked out. And I'm demonstrating this from a computer, so the layout may look a little different if you're on a phone or tablet. I'm going to open the ebook. And when we first open up, we get a progress bar along the bottom that shows us how far along we are in the book. And at the top right, we have some settings options. Now this is the default view. We have two sides of text like the pages of an open book with a fairly standard print size. I can change to one column of text by clicking this button here. Now if you were to open this book on a phone, you would only see one column of text and this button would not be visible because there just isn't room on a phone screen to break the text into two columns. But here on the computer, this is a toggle button, so to return to two columns, just click it again. You may have noticed that the progress bar turned pink when we switched to one column and back again. That's because the number of pages changed. It takes Libby a minute or two to reconfigure the page numbers whenever the size or shape of the text changes. Now when you're ready to read and you want the progress bar and menu at the top to go away, simply tap or click somewhere in the middle of the page and you'll get a full screen view of your book. To get the progress bar and menu back, tap or click in the top middle of the screen and drag your finger or mouse downward. And I'll just take a moment to point out the back button over here. This is how you can go back to your bookshelf to see the other titles you have checked out. Now we'll come over to the next button in the menu, which looks like the letter A. This is where all of the text options are located. So the first option in the menu is the text scale or size, which you can make larger or smaller as needed by moving the slider. If you need really big text, click on the button next to include accessibility sizes. I'm just going to set this back down to a smaller size so we can see more of the text for the rest of this demonstration. If you scroll down a little, the next item on the menu is lighting. There are three options. The default is bright with a white page and black text. If that's too harsh, sepia has a light tan colored background with dark brown text. And then we have dark mode with a black screen and light gray text. And if you scroll down again, we have book design. What this really means is font. The book will open in publisher's default, which is whatever font the publisher used when printing the book. But then you have some additional options. This includes open dyslexic, which may be helpful to people with dyslexia or other visual processing disorders. And then we have even more custom options. This menu opens up even more fonts to choose from. You can also change from less justified to fully justified. Line spacing is usually set at 1.5, but you can change it to 1 for less space and 2 for more. And finally, you can change from normal weight to a heavier weight, making the text bolder. So those are the features you have in Libby to customize your ebooks and make them easier for you to read and enjoy. So now I'm back in my Libby bookshelf and I'm going to open an audiobook and show you how to adjust the playback speed. So I have my audiobook open and I'm going to press play to have the audio start playing. She's launched into a monologue on the importance of her family in the surrounding area. Lies and exaggerations. Now I'm going to come up to the top right again and there's this button that looks like a speedometer. The default is of course one, but we have some presets at 1.25% of normal speed, 1.5, 1.75, and twice the normal speed. There were too many men she wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole, and she was invisible to all the rest, except one. When he'd unexpectedly walked into her house five days ago, she'd been so strange. You can also choose to manually set a specific speed, and if you drag up, you can slow the playback speed down. Not sound exactly. And that's how you adjust the playback speed on your Libby audiobooks.